look at this thing. I'm just murdering everything in sight. Oh my god, it's so satisfying. Like a fucking McRib would be if I could eat one. And I will always love you. I will always love you. Hey everyone, it's part um, seven of Killzone 2. I'm doing a little bit of singing as I often do. Sing Star is coming out for PS4 real soon, so I'm getting pretty pumped about that. I need to look up if the song I Can't Wait by New Shoes is on the Sing Store because I will buy that pretty uh pretty quick. Boom 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 Oh baby I can't wait and then it goes ba 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 such a good song. It reminds me of the beach. I don't know why. Seems like a very sunny California-like song. Like it just seems very beachy and super sunshiny, and it puts me in a good place. I like music that puts me in a good place. I like being in good places, not bad places. <laughs> Like the kill zone. Ha <laughs> It's like the fourteenth time I've made that joke. Alright, what are we doing? It's actually a cutscene playing out this guy. Oh fucking heavies, really? Well there's just one. I don't know if there's two. There might be two. Oh he's got an arc charger. Ooh, I want that. I only have a shotgun by the way, which is not good, but I do want that arc charger. Oh, it's getting late, people. So, uh, what, what, what should I tell you about? Um, well, today I had some Tim Hortons. Now, if you don't know what Tim Hortons is, Tim Hortons is a... Jesus Christ, holy hell, I'm gonna die. Tim Hortons is a local... Not like, it, it's like a franchise, like, there's multiple Tim Hortons, but it's a, you know, like, a, it's a coffee place around western New York and Canada. And, uh, like, a lot of, a lot of people love it here, so I recently had some Tim Hortons... And I tried their... What did I try there? I tried their... God, dude, I'm hitting them right in the head! What's going on? Turn around so I can shoot your, your uh, back. Um, I recently tried their Tuscan chicken panini thing. And you know what? It wasn't all that, to be honest. What's going on? I'm, I'm plowing this guy in the head, and it's not... It's not doing anything, which means there's something I'm not doing. I'm doing something wrong here. I gotta figure it out. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong either. I'm not, definitely not gonna use a knife. Grenade, maybe? That was a bad time to do that. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Oh, oh, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Damn it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, let me see that ass. Right, let me just, let me just fucking do this so I can move on and tell you about my Tim Hortons experience. Shit. Uh, please don't tell me that's how gas being dropped in or something. What is that? Whoa, dude, chill. Calm down. I just want your arc charger. The grenade seems to be working rather well for me here. <laughs> there we go. Where's your, where's your arc charger? Really? I can't pick it up? I know you can pick that up. Aw, oh, dude, weak, man. Where's his arc charger? Dude, I, th you, I thought for sure you could pick that up. That's fucking weak. Anyway, 
Had some Tim Hortons. Had their Tuscan chicken panini thing. I like uh, chicken paninis a lot. They're delicious, but wasn't that great. Uh, which is, you know, well, another thing is I don't really eat Tim, Hort Tim Hortons food that often because it is known as a coffee place around here. But they have like they also have a, like a spicy chicken sandwich. I saw. And I'm like, mm, I might want to try that. I'm also pretty upset because I just recently read that the McRib is going to be a regional thing only again this year. So in 2012, I believe most McDonald's stores had to have the McRib. And then 2013, it was a regional thing where, you know, every store could decide if they wanted to order the McRib. And my local one didn't order it. So, you know, I, I didn't get to eat it last year and I was upset. And it's the same bullshit this year. So uh, chances are my local McDonald's is not going to order the McRib. I'm not going to be able to have it again for another who knows fucking how long. Uh, you guys know I like fast food. I openly embrace eating fast food. It's delicious. I find it delicious. Um, and I, I, I like the McRib a lot. Now I won't be able to fucking eat it. And I'm, I'm, I'm so angry that I might cry like a little like a little girl. Now, or, you know, I might cry like just somebody that is crying over a sandwich, which is really kind of sad, but you know what? As I just said, I embrace it. I fully embrace it. I'm also sitting in a really weird position right now that seemed comfortable at first, but now it's not. Hey, here we go. Now I got the fucking electric gun thing. I, th I could have sworn you could pick it up from that guy. But I guess maybe not. Or maybe I killed him in a weird way where his gun, like, despawned off him or something. Sometimes those things happen. Where am I going? I'm going over here. Thank you for setting these little notifications. If you haven't noticed, there's one thing I really hate about games. Um, or at least when games have this, I really hate it. Is, um, I hate it when games don't tell you what you have to do or where you have to go. Um, I get if, like, it's a puzzle. But I don't like when it's just straight up like you're just in an area and you just don't know where to go or what to do and it's clearly not a puzzle like you're just in an area and you don't know where to, where, where to go i like like i need the game to tell me where i need to go i like always having to be uh i, I like always having progression it just re i really bugs the shit out of me when it's not completely obvious to the player on where you're supposed to go or what you're supposed to do if they don't have, like, objective markers or something, uh, it better be damn obvious for, to the player as to where I'm supposed to go. It really bugs me in games where if I'm just walking around and I, I really don't know where I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to do. I don't like that in games. And I've played plenty of games that have that. Like, I like when Dead Space had, the, like, the little mark, like, you just clicked L3 or something, and you got, a, like, a straight line of where you were supposed to go. Like, that was perfect. Um, and the, the obje objective marker works too. Bioshock had it with the little arrow on the top, tells you where to go. That was pretty awesome. I, I really, really like that. Some might consider that, oh, too easy, blah, blah, blah. But I just like, you know, might as well have it there. You can always turn it off. Oh, I need to get off of this thing. Oh, I'm going to die. Yep. Mm, uh, mm, I'm going to die. Shit. I don't, I don't know what I was, was supposed to do. Was I supposed to turn it off or get off? I don't know. Shit, there's an electric... I can't shut it from down from here. You're going to have to find a way to disable it. Oh, right here. There we go. Oh, okay. It does drop me down. And I'm almost out of... Actually, no, I'm not. This thing's unlimited. This is unlimited? Why do I have unlimited ammo with this? Oh, fucking A, dude. I thought I had limited ammo here. Oh, I'm going to tear shit up then. Where'd this guy go? D wasn't there a hell gas right here? Wow, he's gone. That's crazy. Oh, are you him? Wham! Fucking electrocuted that dude. What is it like? Uh, what does it feel like being tased? I really want to know. You know, they say, um, obviously being tased, uh, being tased hurts a lot. But they say, um, being sprayed with, like, pepper spray is, like, ten times worse. Like, it's just awful. Like, the pain is just absolutely intensifyingly unbearable. And I would, I, yeah, it's one of those things where, like, Oh, hold on, I'm readjusting my entire body. It's one of those things where, you know, you want to feel it, but, like, clearly at the same time, you don't want to feel it. Like, you want to know how intensely bad it is, but, you know, you don't want to go through the pain at the same time. doesn't make sense, but you see what I'm driving at. You see the, you see, you see the location I'm driving at. You're picking up, you're picking up what I'm laying down. You feel me? You're feeling me. You're feeling me all up. It's getting me kind of hot, actually. It's getting a little... <laughs> You know, getting a little stifled in here. <laughs> You're turning me on a little bit. I guess I'll have to... Uh, good thing there's no face cam. You can't see my... How aroused I'm getting right now. <sighs> oh, jeez. Viewer, viewer, viewer. Please. Keep it PG, fucking dirty bastard. 
Ah, uh, what are we doing? Uh, these dudes are. Just, this is awesome, dude. This electric thing is just. Oh, like, look at this thing. I'm just murdering everything in sight. Oh my god, it's so satisfying. Like a fucking McRib would be if I could eat one. God, I love fast food so much. I'm happy to report that the five guys I was telling you about that was getting built near me is officially open. Have not actually eaten there yet, which I know, shocking, right? I ha actually haven't gone to eat there yet. They opened like two weeks ago, I think, but I've just been working so much that I really just haven't had the time to like get over there. Um, but tell you what, this Sunday I'm off. And it, 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 it's a big thing. That, that when I'm saying this, this Sunday I'm off because I haven't had no, I'm no fucking bullshit I'm adjusting myself again by the way no fucking bullshit I haven't had a day off in like maybe three months dude <clears throat> I've been working like seven days a week for a very very long time and you know it's good I'm making lots of money you know uh, I'm doing fun stuff but uh yeah, I haven't had a day where I literally had zero obligations in a very long time. So this Sunday I'm off, and I'll tell you where I'm going. I'm going to fucking Five Guys. I'm getting a goddamn burger. Ooh, I'm getting a double bacon cheeseburger, and I'm getting some Cajun fries. And oh my god, if there's room, I'm going to get a... If, the, if, if there's room, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a hot dog too. Because they have good hot dogs. But you know what, that's a lot of food. I'm probably going to be... I'm probably not going to be able to eat all that. Uh, but usually with fast food, I can eat a lot of fast food lot of fast food and I always get like it's sickening really because if I why what is going on if I go to a fast food place and it's like you know what I like I, I want to eat a lot like I just I want to taste multiple items I want to eat a lot um I'll, I'll order like $15 worth of fast food which $15 worth of $15 worth of fast food is like a fucking pound of fast food um Man, if this all catches up to me when I'm older, I'm going to look disgusting. I'm going to look fat, putrid, and ugly. But the good thing is, um, much like I talked about in the infamous Let's Play, uh, I'm still working out, still keeping up with that. Uh, I'm actually, you know, doing a lot of uh, um, strength training. So I'm using a lot, of, I'm, doing, I'm doing lower reps and um, uh, larger weight and doing all sorts of combination of workouts for my like upper body and everything and I'm seeing some great results actually I'm looking pretty fucking good if you ask me <laughs> uh, but really I'm seeing improvement I'm trying to get more protein in my diet because that you know helps build muscle and everything and it's I'm, I, like I'm feeling it like that's the best part about it is when you feel the improvement uh, actually, I might have to go out and... I don't have a gym... I still don't have a gym membership. I still... I still really don't give a shit to actually... I don't care to actually go to the gym yet. Stop, dude. Fucking spiders. Um, but I might have to go and buy uh, some heavier dumbbells. Because my current ones I'm getting used to. Because that strength training, yo. Dude, there's a lot of fucking dead hell gas in here. Hey, Siv, check this out. This is what everyone was talking about. I'm no expert on this shit, but all these pipes from the bear. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna. I just looked at my sack by plushie and it reminded me that Little Big Planet three is next month. Actually, a lot of stuff is next month. Oh my god, Pokemon Omega Ruby Sapphire. I'm um, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire is coming out next month, and y'all know how big of a Pokemon fan I am. Top top three favorite franchises: Jack and Daxter, Grand Theft Auto. Pokemon. I've invested thousands of hours into that franchise. Although it's a damn shame because this past past few releases of Pokemon, I have not played nearly as much hours of those games that I, that I normally would. Um, I haven't played a whole bunch of X and Y, uh, you know. And before that, uh, Black Two and White Two, I didn't put much into. Like, it's un it's 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 sad really because I love those games so so much. Before I did YouTube, like, I just, my life consisted of just nothing but Pokemon. <laughs> like, I could probably start a Pokemon cha channel uh, back then. Please tell me this is just the save point fucking up or something. Or did we actually get fro- oh, no, okay. We, okay, I was about to say, please tell me we didn't actually get the fucking game frozen right there. <laughs> but man, like, I didn't play any PlayStation back when... Like, uh, when what came out? Um, Pearl, Diamond and Pearl. Played a lot of Diamond and Pearl. Played a lot of, like, all of them, really, but I did play, like, an unusually large amount of Pearl, uh, and Diamond. 
It's kind of a, uh, oh shit. Natko, shut up. Don't give him shit. Guy's gotta shut up, man. Don't tell the enemy anything. We're gonna flank these bitches. Holy the fleet commander. Evelyn looks a little beat right here, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, but Radic looks sweet. Actually, the character models in this game don't look all that great. Everything else about this game looks am amazing, except the fire and, like, like character character models. Like, it looks kind of stiff and rigid. And people always complain about this game that, um... Uh, Sev is, like, really short. Like, the, like, from a character... From the first-person perspective, it looks like you're, like, three feet tall. Which I guess makes sense, because, as you can see, I'm right near her. I'm, like... Looking at her chest, basically. Garza, you okay? Get the fuck up, Garza. Don't be a pussy. You're supposed to go over here. Secure the LZ? Dude, I was all over that LZ, and, and nobody was helping me. I was dancing on the LZ. That's how much I had that LZ. <sighs> Fucking done. You're just done. I was going to say something else, but I forgot. I say too many things and I get all caught up in what I'm saying, then I forget what I'm saying. Oh, I was so tired. It sucks. I'm tired, but I gotta work at 12 tomorrow, and I have to work out tonight, actually. And I'm not going to skimp on it, man, because, like, you know, I'm committed. Committed. I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna do it. Just like whatever you guys plan on doing. If you uh, have a plan, you stick to it. You have a, uh, a goal you're trying to reach, you stick to it. Don't you chicken out, you little bitch. I'll, I'll come at you like that. I'm a tough love kind of person. Don't be a little, don't be a bitch. Like, like do it. Just do it. There's a really great moment. Uh, I don't even fucking know the movie. I forgot the movie name. Because it's not even, I'm, I'm not even like a huge fan of the movie. But there's like um, a certain scene in this really old movie where these two kids are like, the one kid's like, oh, I don't know. And the one kid's like, hey. What the f just, just sometimes you just have to say what the fuck, and if you can't say what the fuck, then you you can't do it. So it's just like what the fuck, do it, like just do it, dude. Like don't, like don't, don't, like like don't skimp out, man. Just do it. It's not, it's not even like a Nike thing. Like it's not even cliche. Just like just do it. No regrets, no consequences. Just do it. I learned that the hard way. Not really, actually. I learned it the easy way, and it was really easy. That's why I call it the easy way because it was easy, easy. Dude, I'm still secure. Well, it, tell it keeps telling me to secure the LZ. I've been all over the LZ. What does LZ stand for? Somebody posted the comments what it means. Too damn lazy to look it up on the internet myself. So when this video go goes up in like two weeks, you can just tell me. And I'll read it in the comments and then I'll respond to you. I'll say something funny. I'll, I'll say a funny word like, like munch. Munch. Munch, munch. It's like I'm eating something. I probably am eating something when I reply to comments most of the time. What is going on? Would you guys go? What are we waiting for? Yeah, there we go. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Is that even a song? Probably is. There's a lot of, like... I mean, yeah, there's a lot of songs in existence, but you gotta figure... At least one song out there has those lyrics. I remember I a long time ago, like back in 2006 with the PS3 and, th uh, like, back when the PS3 and, like, Wii came out, I used to download a bunch of, like, really stupid, like, parody songs from the internet. Like, um, there was, like, a, a Nintendo song where it was, like, it was, like, the, it was, like, a Nintendo rap, but it was, like, a sexual one where, like, Mario's getting, like, pussy, like, from Peach. And it was, like, uh, God, let me tr see if I can remember it. I'm gonna try and wrap it right now. If I can just... <sighs> How to go? It was like... <sighs> I'm trying to run it back in my head. I'm trying to run it back in my head right now. Um... Uh, da -da 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 Mario has style. He has class. He'll take a plunger and put it in her ass or something like that. I don't know. Damn it, I fucking can't remember it. And then there was this one song. It was in completely in Spanish, so I didn't even know what the hell they were saying. But it was a PlayStation 3 song, and the guy was like, 
blah, 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 it sounded cool. I didn't understand what the fuck he was saying, but, like, it sounded cool. And then there was those famous ones that I think ScrewAttack.com made for all the consoles. Uh, they made, like, one about, like, the, the, like, how shitty the PS3 was at the time. They were like, Sony something. It was based on um, um, How to Save a Life. Because they were, like, parody, you know, they were using, like, in a, you know, an original song. They, like, they were sampling it. Sony, you know the most but you something proudly post about to play okay yeah it goes you ignore our need to play online something halo you give us killzone 2 but killzone 1 sucked before so what makes you think we wanted more sony you went wrong with your ps3 i'll just keep playing my 360 it was actually, like, it, like that's how those songs went, though. Like, they were trying to be, like, like total dickheads. And the 360 song was like, blah, 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 the ring of fire, making fun of the red ring of death. Which was such a big, obvious thing back then. Oh, Garza, no! Garza! Lay down! Oh, Garza, no! Garza! I, I, I clearly know what's going to happen. Um, and I'm sure at this point I've made it clear what is going to happen. <laughs> So I guess I, if you've never seen, uh, if you've never played this game before, if you or if you've never seen what goes down, then you're about to see what goes down, which is uh, now again pretty obvious. But what are some of the other songs? The Wii song was uh, not the the rap song, but there was a Wii song by Screw Attack, I think, and it was like just like making fun of like how shitty the Wii was. Um, and, and, and that's not me saying I believe how shitty the Wii was, but everyone felt it was shitty back then, like, a lot of people gave the Wii shit because, you know, like, it wasn't a real console and it didn't have, you know, like, real gamer games, which, you know, like, whatever. I mean, the Wii had a lot of, like, a lot of negative, like, criticism back then from, like, you know, core gamers, like, core people that are, like, really heavily invested in the industry, because we all know that a lot of the Wii's success stemmed from a casual consumer standpoint. I remember Epileptic, Epileptic Gaming. Uh, if you know who those guys are, those guys used to be awesome. By the way, I like those guys because they were just like, they were just like whatever the fuck about anything. Like they just did not give a shit about anything. But they were a, uh, you know, a live internet show that did like, you know, game stuff. And Epileptic Gaming fucking hated the Wii with a fiery passion, and they always made fun of it. And they would always talk about like how like tra like how, just how straight trash it was. Um, and DJ Wheat loved the PS3. He was like a like a, like a self-proclaimed PS3 fanboy, and like they were like it was literally like like the they were all like nothing but internet trolls with their own show, and they would just like totally just be themselves. But like it was just I don't know, it was just the best really, because like because trolls can be funny, you know, and they're not being well. I mean, they're always total dickheads, but some of them like you'll read a comment from a troll and you actually kind of laugh at how fucking stupid it is. That's that's kind of what those guys were. They were pretty funny. Wow, have I was I supposed to go, be over here this whole time? And I was just totally ignoring what I was supposed to do. Um, but the epileptic gaming guy was really funny. I, there's a couple of really funny moments I liked from that uh, from their little show they did. One of them was like. Um, what's what's the dude's name sumo the the one dude robert sumo was like like oh like there's no like wind effects in games like wind graphics like what does that mean and then you know they fought about that or whatever and then one later episode they showed a screenshot of the game dirt 2 and dirt 2 in the menu in the settings for the like the menu had wind graphics like you could toggle wind graphics in that game and so uh, DJ Wheat brought it up, like showed the screenshot, and he's like, "Look at that, Suma! Where's your god now? Fucking wind effects on! There are fucking wind effects in games." And Suma's like, "Yeah, but is it is it blurry? Like, what does that even mean?" And he's like, "Doesn't matter. There's wind graphics. Yeah, what's up now, bitch?" Like, oh man, that show that show is fucking funny. Those guys were crazy, man. They were some crazy dickheads. Cause that's that's what they were, dude. I think DJ Wee like does a lot of um, he does a lot of esports now. I think like he's a an announcer for Twitch and esports or something. I don't know what the fuck Suma's up to and all the other guys like DJ, what was his name? DJ, DJ something. DJ Rome, I think. Yeah, DJ Rome. I remember one time a caller they, like they did like like live calls like Skype calls. 
and somebody called in going like, hey, how come you don't have any women or black people on your show? And like, DJ, uh, DJ Rome was just like, he, he and he, just to paint a picture for you, DJ Rome's just a skinny white guy, and he's like, dude, I'm fucking black, what the fuck? That's so racist. Oh, man, that show, like, that show was literally the worst, but that's what made it great was because it was the worst. Dude, I'm taking my fucking electricity gun back. Fuck that. Just, like, kind of how I'm the worst. I, like, I swear left. Like, that's what those guys did. They would swear left and right. Um, I, obviously, I think I'm a lot more uh, open and, am, you know, open and... Uh, I, well, not open, but, like humble of my opinions right when rather those guys were like pretty blunt and again trollish man you know a lot of this these let's plays i do are really just about what like things i like and enjoy like tv shows and old game shows i watched and foods i like god it's just all about me and my channel but here's where some shit's about to go down in killzone 2 now that we're talking about killzone 2 garza no Oh, Garza. Oh, Garza. Oh, fuck. Oh, Garza. Don't quit on me. Man down, medic. There goes Garza. Son of a bitch. Garza was actually a cool dude, too. He has a cool name. Garza? There's not many boy names I like, but if I ever had a kid and it was a boy, I would definitely put Garza up for, for consideration, assuming the lady I end up end up with doesn't have a better boy name picked or just any sort of boy name that she prefers because I really don't have a boy name picked out. I have a girl name picked out, which is actually from, from a game. If I ever have a kid and it's a girl, Elka. Elka is the name. It's going to be the name regardless of what the girl I'm with wants. If she wants fucking Brianna or fucking Janelle or whatever the fuck. No. Our girl's named Elka. Elka is from the 2008 Prince of Persia. I loved that game. And more importantly, I loved that name because Elka was the princess in that game. I don't do I just loved that name. Like Elka. It's just like so. I don't know, dude. Like that name just just breathes so many like things to me. So I'm like, damn, son. Like, if, if, if I decided it back then in 2008. I'm like, dude, if I ever had a kid, like, and it's a girl, like, her name's Elka. It's just that's just how it's going down. And I don't even care. If she grows up, I'll be, and she'll be like, Dad, where where my name come from? And I'll be like, you know what? It's time to boot up the PlayStation 3 and show you a game that Daddy liked. She'd be like, I don't even like games, Dad. Like, you're such a like loser. And I'm like, well, you know what? Go to your room. Back off. Back the fuck off. Fucking girls is dead, man. I'm sick of this shit. I'm sick of this war. War is hell. It is hell. I've never been there because I've never been to war. Son of a bitch, man. Shit's crazy, man. Oh, man, look at Sev. He's just, he's torn apart. Ugh. I feel your pain, dude. It's all right though. Oh, this is where the hell gas around the thing. Hey everybody, we're. I mean, it's so obvious, right? I mean, we're in a new chapter of the game. It's about 28 minutes. I mean, it's all. It's it's really kind of obvious at this point. Plus, if you're watching this on YouTube, which uh, you'd have to be, um, you would see on the bottom of the screen that the timer is uh, getting closer and closer to the end of the video. So, this is about it. I'll see you all in part eight and. Uh, you take care. You take care of yourself, really.